Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Daredevil, lucky issue number 13. Damn, this was a good issue. I'm going to tell you five things about this comic book after we talk about who made it. So, we've got Chip Sardosky on writing, Mark Chacheco on art, Nolan Woodard on colors, and uh, -do -do -do, VCs Clayton Cowles on letters, Julian Totino Tedesco on cover art, and Declan Shalvey on the variant cover, the 2099 variant cover specifically. This issue is called Through Hell, Part three. All right, guys, so number one on this list, Electra. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm madly in love with Electra. I remember somebody asked me when I was in high school, so like, who's the most beautiful girl you know? I was like, well, Electra. Like, Carmen Electra? You know Carmen Electra? I'm like, F Carmen Electra, that fake broad. They're like, come on, give me a break, man. I'm talking about Electra, Daredevil's girl, Electra. Yeah, I got funny looks. I don't care. <laughs> I'm honest. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, dude, Electra's in this. She's training that, and it's freaking awesome. All right, like, this is cool. I love the idea she points out, yeah, Stick was a bastard, but he wasn't wrong. <laughs> so this was good. This is good. And um, I don't know if Chip Zardosky is a, a martial artist or not, but he had a couple of things right there. He had a, a bunch of really good points in here about how the idea is you got to keep on practicing. You can't just think that it's instinct, that you can do what you're going to do. No, that's how you telegraph yourself you have to keep on practicing and not practicing in your style of that style no 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 practicing the core uh regimens in that individual style or those that hybrid of styles that you know you have to you always turn it to your own not necessarily on the fly but yeah kind of it that, that shouldn't necessarily feel second nature to you you have to stick with the core otherwise you forget it and then you lose it Anyway, let's talk about number two on this, and that is Pulp Fiction. Obvious influence here, and I am very happy that he did this. Um, Chip and uh, Chicheco, what they did was this whole entire issue, for the most part, that involved the Kingpin was basically a reenactment of that scene from Pulp Fiction with the, uh, the cleaner. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I'm the wolf. You're the wolf? I'm the wolf. <laughs> Like, that's the that's the best. Mr. Wolf, it was a real pleasure seeing you in action. I'm like, dude, this was amazing. I loved this issue. Wow. Let's talk about number three on this list. The owl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the owl was off the hook. There was only two pages of the owl in this. But you remember, the last time I remember seeing him, he'd just flown away from the kingpin. He was, you know, Mayor Fisk. He was talking about, you're out of the game, man. You're trying to threaten me. I'm not threatened by you. I'm going to go off and do what I want because you are punk now. Yeah, going by the law. Mm -hmm. So he flew off. He's like, screw this. I'm flying the bird coop. And like he literally goes off the rails in this. He starts breaking rules because Kingpin isn't there to enforce him anymore. He's trying to make a move. I'm not talking Cardi B money moves. This dude, <laughs> he's doing BoJack Green He's trying to take over and be the new kingpin of New York. Maybe greater. I don't think it's going to work. He's kind of a jackass. But I'm interested in seeing it happen. Uh, so let's talk about number four on this list, and that is Detective North. You know, there's this saying in Islam. I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way because I'm giving you my interpretation of it. Um, what do you call it? If you see a wrong, write that wrong with your hands. If you are unable to do that... Um, then right the wrong with your mouth. If you are incapable of doing even that, then you're a pussy and you just walk away and know in your heart that it's not the right thing to do. I'm kind of ad-libbing on that last part. What I'm saying is you got to try and right wrongs. Anytime that you see a wrong, you have to try and right it. And none of us have really agreed with Detective North so far, but the thing that he just happened with Spider-Man, hopefully that seems to have set him straight and he actually starts doing good things now. He, instead of trying to go after the heroes, the only people who are actually trying to do something for the people of uh, Hell's Kitchen, uh, namely Daredevil and Spider-Man and all that, no, instead, he decides to go off and, uh, and try and stop some gang members who are just, you know, picking on homeless people and stuff like that. That's cool. That's good to see. Also, that ending kind of had me going, oh my, that's a cup of coffee I want to see. And no, ain't no porn music coming with that, with like some freaking Misty Knight and Luke Cage thing from the Daredevil, or excuse me, the, the Netflix Luke Cage series. No, no, no. I mean like an actual cup of coffee. <laughs> anyway, uh, finally, let's talk about number five on this list, and that is Wesley. 
Wesley is the freaking boss in this. Oh, he's evil. He's a son of a bitch in this one. But it's Wesley. And, you know, every so often you see Wesley in the book and he's like the kingpin's right-hand man. And it's like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. Do my paperwork. Do my taxes. You know, scratch my butt. Whatever. All right? Wesley doesn't really do anything. In this one, you know, Wesley's a cold, ruthless son of a gun, man. <laughs> I was just like, damn. I need a Wesley sometimes. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, all right? While I'm being honest, I'm also going to tell you something that you maybe did not know. I actually have Chip Sardowski tied up in my basement. That's right. I went full uh, Kathy Bates on him. All right. <laughs> so he's in my basement. He is. Re that is the reason why we've got so many amazing uh, Daredevil stories coming out right now. Because like this dude, he's tied up. He gets about eight ounces of water per day. Um, but he gets more depending on how many uh, pages he writes. I'm just saying. So... That sometimes that's what you got to do. Therefore, I am willing to take all thanks from everybody there. I know, I know, I went from cult leader to uh, high priest cult leader for uh, the advocates to all of a sudden I'm kidnapping people and putting them in my basement. That may seem wrong, but I'm just saying the art on this, as good as it is, I think that it could still be a little bit better. So if anybody knows uh, Checheco's ad address, multiple ways of contacting me. Anyway, don't really do that because I'm, I'm just messing around. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all the love in the world, guys. This is an amazing comic book. Definitely get your hands on this stuff, all right? And uh, anybody who wants to send a care package to ship, because that dude's seriously in my basement. I'll talk to you all later, all right? Professorville Comic Book University. Class dismissed.